right, Brian, you're going to teach us how to make our own eclectic space yes. and what some of the rules might be if we want to do this at home. But first, I want to start with a definition. Because I think eclectic, and I think a lot of stuff, maybe a lot of tchotchkes, yes. a lot of color, a lot of stuff all over the place. What does eclectic mean? Well, it's funny you say that because we were talking about that earlier. And I was thinking, when I think of eclectic, I think yeah. it's just a messy space. Right. But I, you <laughs> know, I know, I know what eclectic is. So there's two different things when it just... You know, there's two different eclectics. So okay. one is eclectic with periods. So you can mm. have modern and traditional mix. The yeah. other is eclectic when it comes to materials. So whether they're polished and, and rough mm -hmm. and shiny and matte, that's eclectic too. So if you have the velvet exactly. and you have like microfiber, or you have exactly. clay, like you're okay. mixing it all together and that equals eclectic. Correct, because we've got this, which is velvet. Yeah. And we think of velvet as being very fancy. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I love velvet for is the color. You can't yeah. get that color in any other fabric but velvet. So we think of it as being quite fancy. Yeah. But then when you mix it with things that are quite the opposite, rusticated things, suede, linens, it becomes more eclectic and it sort of relaxes it. And we should have known, though, when we said, Brian, we want you to do an eclectic space that this is what you'd come up with. I know. Subtle. This is the most calm. Subtle. Co the color palette even? Yes. So the color palette, you do have some fun colors happening here, but they and they happen to be my outfit. I'm so How impressed. How did that work? I'm How did so that impressed. Just look, it's perfect. My jacket is the sofa. My yep. pants are the wall. Like it just worked out so perfectly. Um, but but the thing about the color and the thing that um, sort of connects it all is that it's all very soft. Yeah, so you can do it either all soft colors yeah. or all dark and bolder colors, right. but you know, some of the spaces when we talked about the calming, yes. eclectic spaces can be, if not sort of done so well, can be a little of a mess, yeah. if I can just be frank. But we look at spaces, we have this, you know, there's this trend about maximalism, yeah. which I have to say, I do not like. That's not you. It is like where you have, and what it is is where you have like a pattern on the wall and a yeah. pattern on the sofa yeah. and a pattern on the floor and, and, and a mix of furniture like 60s yeah. and 18s, it's like, oh <laughs> my God, it's like the worst in a blender of a <laughs> I need to take a nap. It's I know, I look much. at that space, I'm like, oh no. That is, you're going to look back and say, what was I thinking? Like yeah. my beard and long hair that I had years ago. You know, I still like that hair. We should maybe do a comeback. We shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. you don't want to do we that? We shouldn't. Do it out? No? Okay, so I do want to talk um, about this idea of having an eclectic space, though, that we're not going to get sick of. It is really, you know, we talk about trends, and there are so many trends every season. Yeah. Don't do it on anything big. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> don't do it on there. your sofa. So it's really about taking the biggest pieces yeah. and doing it the most subtle yeah. and then introducing pattern and color and trends, paint, pillows, throws, yeah. accessories, things that are modestly priced. We do houses where we have summer and winter and fall accessories. Right. So I have a, a client's house where we have this beautiful silk carpet and in the summer we roll it up and we have an inexpensive sizal right. and her pillows which are beautiful uh, deep velvets in the winter are linen, pastel linens, and it completely transforms the space. Yeah. But if you want to, you know, dip your foot into trends, don't do it with the sofa. Do it with the pillows. Yeah, and the, the stuff you, that are less expensive, and you can like throw exactly. them in your storage room, and it's not that big a deal. Aspirationally, I think that all I want in life is for your team to come to my house every season. And like turn my house around, and I'll just go upstairs to my bedroom and come back down. And like, oh, it's Christmas. I know, it's the right? Most fun. Like it's that's fun. what you that's what you do. I love doing that's that. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, so we talked a little bit about mixing and matching different things together. Let's talk about this space as an example. So you've got the velvet happening here. Uh, you have linen. a different material. This is linen. This is suede. And this is suede. And this is a brushed oak. Okay. And then we have polished marble. It's all different. All di And then the cotton wool rug, you know, the blanket rug. Yeah. So it's really about knowing how to mix materials. People don't usually think about doing velvet and suede. Right. Or velvet and linen. Yeah. But it is, um, it's the, the uh, palette that really ties it all together. And what about pattern? Let's talk a little bit about pattern. Well, pattern I like to leave to... Art, yep. accessories, mm -hmm. carpets. Right. So I don't really do a lot of pattern on big pieces. Mm -hmm. I think your big pieces should be your most subtle. Yeah. You know, when we did this, this is a Gluckstein home for spring. This is new for spring. We wanted something fresh. Yeah. But, you know, we can make this winter 
with faux fur and deep color pillows yes. and things like that. So decide what your palette is that you love as a color. Yeah. You may be a neutral person, say I want everything in ivory or everything in gray, mm -hmm. and I'll do my pops with color in the accents. But you might be a little bolder and say, I want a sofa in a soft green or a soft blue or a blush color and have fun with it. How hard was it for you to decide to make such a huge furniture piece in such a, a color? Well, we talked about this, you know, when we were doing this <laughs> new sofa and we had the velvets, we edited down the velvets, and I said, we need a little pop on the floors at the at the bay. Yeah. So I said, let's do green. No one will order the green. Yeah. They'll choose the beige or the gray, but let's do the green. Number one color. Yes. This is the number one color of all of our sofas, this green. Yeah. I can't believe it. It's, I think it's such a fresh color. It's almost a neutral. I get it. I get it because you probably merchandised it so beautifully. Like we if did. I walk into the bay and I see this room done like this, I'll be like, I didn't know I wanted a green sofa <laughs> exactly. and now I do. <laughs> exactly. Right? That's the joy of, of beautiful merchandising. So Gluckstein Home at Hudson's Bay is where you get all of these beautiful pieces. Yes. Did Brian do Eclectic Wow? <laughs> yes, he I did. Cry. I, cry. I love that.